Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, volatility in the market continues. Yesterday we saw late kind of a rebound in prices. Uh, some people thought that with RSIs in the grain room uh, around 20 to 21, uh, that we were due for some type of correction. Um, we don't have any export sales data today and not hearing a lot about on the export side, uh, especially after this week's uh, lower inspections. But we've got beans up 30, wheat up 30, and corn up 11. All commodities are higher and the dollar is lower. So we have to wonder, the lower dollar, is that because the UK Prime Minister is going to resign? Um, that has probably the uh, euro currencies and the pound higher. But uh, he was an ally to both US and Ukraine, so we'll have to see who his uh, replacement is and if it continues to have that type of policy. Um, the other thing is that, um, again, we don't really know long term what the Fed plan is. July, they will raise uh, interest rates. Some people might think it's 75 basis points. But the key is the is their verbiage forward. Uh, do they uh, feel that with these lower grain and, and energy prices that inflation is peaked and they don't really need to um, increase rates uh, to fight inflation or hurt the economy. Um, the other thing is that weather. I mean, again, um, shower activity over the one to five day is less than what it showed yesterday, uh, especially in Nebraska, Southwest Iowa, uh, most of the Southern Plains, um, Central Illinois, Indiana and Ohio and the Western Delta. Uh, as we look next week, most of the Midwest will be dry. Uh, temperatures in the western Midwest will be above normal, while temperatures in the east will be uh, below normal. And that extends also into the following week. So you're going to go a couple of weeks without a lot of moisture from the Midwest, temperatures above normal in the western Midwest, but near or uh, maybe uh, even a little below normal in the eastern Midwest. Uh, so Crop ratings are probably the, the lowest in like Indiana, Ohio, um, down into Kentucky. Uh, Minnesota has improved with rains. And then you have your best crops in Iowa and then the Dakotas and uh, the irrigated Nebraska crops. So uh, we're putting some dryness in the best areas. Um, we're drying out the eastern areas, but we're also adding heat uh, for those western areas. So we'll see. You know, if this is more of a correction in an oversold situation or actually has little teeth to it and might uh, firm up to uh, regain some of the recent losses since we've seen the May 17th highs. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM, Major Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people as you yourself would want to be treated.